Okay, here we are at gis.maricopa.gov, and they have a bunch of nice um, data that are available, but let's go to the historic aerial photography. So the county is pretty big, there's a lot of it and a lot of variability, but let's zoom in to the area around uh, ASU. Okay, so here we can see this is a pretty recent photo. We see Tempe Town Lake, and uh, here's Tempe Butte with the stadium. Can zoom out just a little bit. So you can do a number of things, but one thing you can click on this change aerial, and uh, you can choose a given year. So this is, let's say, uh, 2013, but we can go back to 1930. And so you can see quite a, a difference in the landscape, which is something that's interesting for us. One thing you can do is if you click here, you can change kind of what's shown. Uh, one thing I want to do is turn off the, the uh, labeling streets and highway. So the next thing we can do is compare two years of aerials, for example. So you could select the, select the left aerial photography 1930, right aerial photography 2013. And then you can use this nice little slider to see the change. So that can be helpful to kind of look for places of, of significant landscape change. There's also some oblique aerial photographs you can try. Let's see what this uh, 1930 oblique looks like. So it looks like we just probably click on this view here. Uh, you can see downtown Tempe. Let's turn the scale bar off. So what one thing we want to do is to, uh, we don't want to show the oblique aerials if possible. So it may be that we need to just choose a different image here. Yeah, so this is 1937. I'm going to go back to 1930. And then what I want to do is to click on these tools and I'm going to export the map to JPEG. So then I once it's created, I can click here to look at it. And then I can say, save image as, if save that image, so this would be 1930 uh, salt river, let's say, that JPEG. And so then you could continue, maybe go uh, export a couple more at different times, and then we'll pull them into ArcGIS next.